the tone I think that you'll and, and, and you'll see tonight and tomorrow and consistent with the whole week is is one that it's time for a change. How about that chant, though? Does Mr. Trump support well, I, I think that was a refrain that Governor Christie was calling for in the speech, and did it reflect the attitude of people saying it? Probably reflects the attitude of a lot of people in America, where over 70 percent think she's guilty. And, uh, and don't understand why justice wasn't done. And frankly, that plays right into the narrative of why things need to change in Washington, because there's special justice for some, and, and, and it's not uh, equal justice. The significant thing tonight for purposes of the general election is the introduction of our vice presidential nominee to the American people as the nominee. Uh, Governor Pence will be the featured speaker in the second hour. Uh, he will be talking about his record a little bit and uh, and why his exp his background fills the criteria that uh, Mr. Trump put out three months ago when he began the selection process for a vice presidential candidate. That selection process focused on experience, uh, ability to be president on day one, and somebody who could help him uh, do the job that he needs to do in Washington. Mr. Trump was very pleased with the results of the nomination process last night. Uh, you know, it was very satisfying and rewarding to him that after a year of being on the campaign trail and a year of being told that he would never be the nominee of the party, uh, that he secured the party with, you know, uh, over 1,700 votes, delegate votes, and really was widely accepted on the floor even by those who didn't vote for him because of the bound nature of the delegations.